Are you interested in e-commerce and possibly mentorship? Are you interested in starting an online business? Are you prone to consuming content that is created by self-proclaimed gurus? You know, the ones who seem to have all the answers. They have a secret, easy way to six figures in e-commerce. Ultimately, e-commerce success boils down to having all your ducks in a row. Excellent product, excellent service, excellent positioning, excellent marketing. Getting good at all the skills needed to fulfill the above takes time, hard work, and a little luck. Those journeys are unique to each individual. If you want to try it on your own we have created a roadmap for you below that is in our opinion better than just going out and trying to build an online business from scratch especially when you have little to no experience in it. Mentoring can be extremely helpful in this situation for those who want to increase their odds of success. We have created a mentorship program for you if you are looking for an honest program that walks you through everything step by step. This isn't part of our normal services but is something that people asked us for. Our program is designed to assist e-commerce business owners, bloggers, dropshippers, affiliate marketers, digital marketers, or anybody in charge of an online website to get things done. If you want to work with Ron Cloth one-on-one -on -one to start an online business contact digitalpapercuts.com. The Digital Marketing Lifestyle. I have said it before and I will say it again. It is certainly no secret that more and more people are dreaming about transitioning from traditional jobs to digital jobs. Having the laptop lifestyle, working from coffee shops around the world, being able to write your own paycheck, and being able to work on things you're passionate about all make a person happy. Don't you think that sounds pretty good? The reality is, and you've probably heard the expression before. You know, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Those words really irritate me. You know, whenever I hear that it's too good to be true, it probably is, you know, that kind of thinking is the type of thinking that will hold you back from really ever living your best life. If you have to work 15 hours a day to get anywhere in life, and everything has to be hard and difficult, then what kind of result is that likely to yield for you? I mean to me it only makes sense that that's the life that you're going to live, you're going to attract the things that you think about and the perceptions that you have in the world. However, I want to be real with you, it's not going to be like I've got a laptop and I'm connected to the internet and I've got an idea, so I'm gonna start an online business, and then millions will start rolling in. One thing I'll tell you at this point is that unless you're really committed to doing this and learning some new skills, reskilling, and following through, I wouldn't even start. I wonder how many times you have said that you will try this and then it didn't work out well. Maybe trying is never enough because I know you have probably said something like, my health isn't perfect, yeah, I'm gonna try and eat a little bit healthier. I'm going to try and get a little bit of weight off and get more fit, and then a few weeks down the line you're back to your bad eating habits or you're not working out, you're not following through, we've all been there, don't lie. The same thing happens when trying to start a new business for many people. For me, the most important thing is to have a big enough vision that keeps you committed to this massive goal of transitioning from traditional to digital allowing yourself to live your best life, which was, in my case, the best decision I've ever made. You know, I'll never forget the advice my friends and family gave me when I started talking about all of this entrepreneurship stuff. Ron, stick to being retired, you're doing well, you're safe and secure. Sorry, retirement just wasn't for me. Yeah, these are the types of things that you are contending with, and you know, thankfully I learned to shut out all the noise and make informed decisions based on my own due diligence and that's what I've done with these blog posts for you, 
is to sort of giving you insight so that you don't have to think like maybe your teachers thought 20, 30, 40 years ago, or maybe just a few years ago, you know, think about that for a minute, you know, just 20 years ago really, there was no internet as we know it today. I remember in the mid-90s asking my manager at Charles Schwab to let me take a class on the internet. She said no that we didn't need to know it. Boy was she wrong. But that way of thinking was because that world didn't have the internet or see its potential. So of course, it's a completely different way of thinking. It was very normal to trade time for money in the past instead of working in a digital world. It was basically like this back then, you sell your life, you get in your car, you drive to work, and if you show up, you get paid, if not, you do not. Yeah, for over two years, I've had systems that are working 24-7, 365 days a year, whether I'm working or not, I've been able to spend three years in Europe and check my emails and do a little bit of work in the morning, a little bit work in the evenings and pulling in six figures. Does that sound too good to be true? Probably does. But why? Because it's a perspective that is so different from the pre-internet world. Therefore, if you are serious about ending your relationship with the traditional economy, then you better be open-minded enough to learn some new things but also be willing to put in the effort and commitment that it's going to take for you to make that transition. As long as you're around us, we'll certainly try to influence you to make the right decision. There are a lot of ways to effectively skin a cat, as they say. In other words, there are a lot of different business models and ways to get started online. Over the years, I have consistently observed a particular path taken by people that really leads to the greatest success and results, and I'd like to share with you that path. I want to talk to you about this reality of whether or not you are really ready. By the end of this blog, I believe you will be able to say, yeah, I'm gonna do this. And let's talk. Or you might say, oh, that sounds like a lot of work for me. Maybe I will do it tomorrow. We all know where that leads. And so first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just run through some common items. No, let's call it objections that people have around starting up an online business. Now, I would like to run through a few common objections first. One of the most common excuses I hear is that I can't afford to quit my day job, and that if I'm going to start a business, I have to give it all I've got. Absolutely not true at all. In my previous corporate job, I worked 70 hours per week for a few years, although I did not have children and was in an unhappy marriage so it was an escape of sorts. But when I got home it was kind of my own time. However, I then became a brick and mortar entrepreneur which gave me a taste of freedom. That business was very successful and eventually, it was sold for a very nice multiple which led me to my digital marketing business. The truth is that it took me six months to replace my income of having a traditional job or my own brick and mortar business, which is not a long time at all. Once I found digital marketing, I did all of the work around growing my online businesses. Yes, I opened multiple online businesses. I don't recommend doing that and if I had to do it over again I would start with one and then build more once you know what you are doing. And so that transition was actually very smooth for me because of my work ethic and I was able to effectively double my income. Yet. I was only working two, sometimes three hours a day on each of my online businesses. If I had days off on the weekend, sometimes I was working on the weekends and you know the way I was able to really grow my businesses very rapidly once I got into it. It was great being my own boss. 
Not only did I not have a commute or having to report to a boss and working in a job or the obligations of being an employer, that I didn't really want to be anymore, I suddenly had all this new time to focus on my online businesses. Yeah, I want you to think about this as well for a moment just in case, you've not done something entrepreneurial before, you've not worked on your own business, you know, I have said before, you know one of my passions is knowledge. I'll go online and watch YouTube videos or watch endless webinars to just learn something new. It's effortless, it's just something I enjoy doing when not working so I always have an outlet that is related to my businesses. Yeah, again, my girlfriend is probably looking out the window thinking about flying to Lisbon. I can think of better things to do at the weekend and what's my point here, but when you have a passion and when it's yours, how much effort does that work become? That's the difference between having your own business, your own project, and compared to working for someone else, I wouldn't go and apply for a job working for a digital marketing agency and ask for a job because I don't want to have to answer to anyone but myself. You know, I can't really imagine working in a corporate environment again. I like the freedom to pick and choose my battles. Yet you will find me voluntarily working on my own websites almost every day. I love it. It is why I am very selective on who we bring on as a new client for digital paper cuts and why I will be very selective on who I will work with as a mentor. And so the quicker we can get you into this position where it's your business and it's your passion I believe the happier you will be. That's the thing that you can relate to, the more passion you have for something the more effortless that work is going to feel. It's because of how much more likely you are to follow through if things don't happen as fast as you want them to, or if you're not turning the corner in a week or two, but you're actually enjoying what you're doing. I go through this multiple times a month when talking with newbie digital marketers who ask what niche they should go into. I always say pick a niche in a subject that you love and have knowledge about. Therefore, I would like to challenge you to find something within the next 30 days that you are passionate about and that you will truly enjoy doing. When you do this you will naturally feel excited, it's yours, you're not building someone else's dream, you're building your own. So many times people want to find a hot product or to find the best niche to go in. Well, what if someone told you that dog kennels was a great niche? and you are a cat person, how interested are you going to be in the product since you really have no interest in it? Find something you love and make it work for you. Common objections to starting an online business do you have to quit your job? No, you don't. But mentally, maybe you do, mentally maybe you have to be so committed to making this work. There's no way that you're going to continue another 20, 30, 40 years working for the boss, are you? But if you have to do it for the next week or for a few months, well it's not really the end of the world. Is it expensive to start an online business? Now, another thing that I always hear is that people don't want to have to store inventory and want to dropship. The truth of the matter is for a dropshipping store you do need a lot more capital than you think. Many people think they can buy products after someone orders them and use the customer's money to pay for the product from the supplier. However, the payment processes like PayPal will often hold onto the funds and not release them to you for up to three weeks or after you have provided proof of delivery. If you sell $10,000 worth of goods in the first week you better have $10,000 in your bank or have credit cards available to pay that money up front. Dropshipping is good if you haven't got a lot of space at home, you don't have a garage or you don't have to do your own fulfillment or have the money to buy items in bulk. Types of online business that you can start with print on demand store. 
Well again, obviously with a print-on-demand store, or affiliate marketing you don't need to worry about any of that inventory or purchasing from a supplier stuff. If you are interested in starting with a DFY branded print-on-demand business we've covered that with our Ecom Business Builders program. With Ecom Business Builders we will build you a DFY store that includes products, your logo, designs, your website, and your website hosting. All you need to really do is to start marketing it and we can help you with that also. When someone orders a product the fulfillment is done for you without having to buy any inventory. You get paid the difference between the supplier price and the price you have sold the product for. It is a lot like affiliate marketing except you determine the markup instead of a set commission amount. With our print-on-demand store, we create your own branded store for you right out of the gate. This jumps some of the other steps we think most people should do if going at it by themselves, but only a few people are graphically inclined to have their own print-on-demand store so it is an exception to the rule. Amazon FBA There are many different ways that you can automate the process of delivering products, providing services, and even taking payments. In fact, Amazon FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, and how that could work is, you could source products, let's say from China or from a domestic manufacturer, and have the quality control done there where you have a company that inspects the quality of the products. No, this is not AliExpress. Using AliExpress as your fulfillment center is a recipe for failure. If you buy wholesale often you can then have them label the product and get it ready for Amazon FBA, ship them to the Amazon warehouses where Amazon will actually store them. And then when people go on to Amazon and buy those products, Amazon is going to take the payments, the gonna ship the products they would deal with any refunds or any problems like that and they will send you a check, you don't have to worry about again these traditional problems of running a dropshipping business such as fulfillment and customer service or worry about any of that type of stuff. Do it yourself e-commerce. Now you may want to maybe actually want to store your own products and do your own fulfillment. But frankly, it's really not necessary, it's not something to worry about, especially if you're short on space or you want to be selling a large number of items. But still, it is something you can do. You might save a little money by cutting out a middleman however you are perpetually tied to that inventory. So much for a laptop lifestyle. Selling services. Something else I hear all the time from service-oriented businesses is, you know, I really don't enjoy selling. I don't want to have to do any sort of cold calling. Join the club. You know, I haven't done any sort of traditional sales or cold calling since I started my business. The thing to keep in mind is that people are buying online. So the last thing they want is a cold caller or a salesperson on the phone although if you are selling very high ticket items then having the potential customers get a hold of you is important from a trust standpoint but not so important when selling products less than $50. In order to learn how to do business effectively online, you need marketing systems and sales funnels and the approach that you can take online to actually do customer acquisition. Whether it's an affiliate business selling other products and services for a company or whether it is selling your own products or services and rest assured within our program, I'm going to teach you an effortless way to systematically attract the right type of customers for the products or the services or the brands that you're representing if you want me to mentor you. Just contact me here to find out more about the program. And it is in a way that doesn't involve any phone sales, cold calling or anything like that. Can you really do it by just yourself? One thing you may be thinking is, I don't want the overhead or responsibility of a team. 
well in many cases you can just obliterate that objection especially if you were just starting out. As you grow you may decide to hire others to help, which is what I did at Digital Paper Cuts. You know, for the last two years of building my business I had one full-time member of staff to help me out with my marketing and my campaigns and my websites and that kind of stuff but for the first 10 months of building that business, it was completely by myself. I built my business completely on my own from my laptop. And there are many, many people that choose to run that type of lifestyle business for years and years and years. I get it, people just don't want the responsibility of managing people or traditional things like offices and overhead or any of that stuff which is why running an online digital marketing company is ideal for most people. I should clarify something. If you have an online business, no matter if you have a Shopify or Groove cart store, sell products on eBay, have your own website, or sell services online you are a digital marketer first and foremost. If you are not a digital marketer you are out of business. Technical skills for running an online business. Another thing I hear is, I don't have any technical skills. You know, I really am not very good with a computer. Surely anything that's online such as marketing and website design or anything like that needs to be quite technical. Right? Wrong. In reality it is not at all as technical as it seems. I hadn't built a website until three years ago. Now I have built hundreds of them. Now, would I be lying if I said you were going to have to learn some new skills? Yes. But the reality is when it comes to doing advertising online or setting up a blog or creating content, anybody can learn that you know, and we also have tools for you to do that and can suggest different software to you to help automate everything such as Content Ninja as an example that creates unique blog content in no time at all. Basically, the main thing is your attitude. Are you prepared and committed to learning some new things? But do you need to be technical or understand any complexities of how the internet works, how websites work? HTML, CSS or any of that jargon? Absolutely not. Marketing an online business. I don't know how to market online. So how many people think, well, you know, coming up with a product is easy, you know, Picking an affiliate product is straightforward, but how on earth would I, you know, market? What can I do now to get customers? I will give you one piece of advice that I hope you will heed. You need to learn how to market effectively online. As mentioned above, your primary job no matter if you are a blogger, an online store owner, an affiliate marketer, sell on Amazon or have a local business or online service your primary job to get new business is to be a digital marketer. And there are a plethora of ways that you can do that, whether it be through the use of video or the written word or through just straightforward digital advertising and marketing. Anyone can learn how to market online. In regards to affiliate marketing, one of the reasons I'm such a fan of it, is it doesn't matter what product or service or business model you are in, it is going to involve customer acquisition. If you ever see me speaking at any of the marketing events, I nearly always open up with the line of nothing happens in business until a customer buys. And that's because the number one lifeblood of a business is the oxygen of business. And so we can take you through a program of one to three months of teaching you the basics of online marketing and customer acquisition. Think about what you'll be able to do with that. And so that really leads me into the final one. You don't know where to begin. You know, all of this information is really great. You are learning some new ideas and you know, starting to be a little bit more open-minded in terms of thinking that maybe I can do this, 
but I still don't really know where to start. I want to share with you a typical journey for people who get started online with our help. By the end of our talk I think you'll really feel more confident in terms of if this is for you, and if it is, then why wait? And so what I want to do now is really walk you through the process of getting started online and what it typically would look like for somebody who's getting started with our company up to getting their first sale to scaling up that business because believe me, I get it. I remember how overwhelming it can be when you start getting all of this information. You're learning about different business models. All of a sudden you're sort of thinking about having your first web business. And if there is one thing that will stop people from getting results in life, it is information overload. It causes people to procrastinate. And so I think you're gonna find this really, really helpful. Affiliate marketing. Now, once you've identified the sort of area or the interest that you want to be focused on, instead of jumping in and building a store and building a brand, the path that I think more people should take first is to start with affiliate marketing especially if you are doing it on your own without mentorship. I say this because even if you want to dropship, have your own print-on-demand business or an Amazon FBA store you can get started with affiliate marketing in a matter of hours or days with little to no costs except your ad costs. It's a great way to start for all the reasons that we've already discussed. Once you have identified that, the first thing you need to do is decide what you're going to sell. And so are you going to focus on maybe digital products? you know, online courses and that kind of thing or you're going to focus on physical products from a place like Amazon. And of course, eventually, you know, it may be a combination. It really should be a combination of different types of products. So very simply finding affiliate programs and products with affiliate programs couldn't be easier. Just head over to Google and type in Affiliate Marketing or Amazon Affiliates. You will see lots of information there. In addition to Amazon Affiliates, I would also suggest signing up for Clickbank to see a lot of affiliate offers. Another way to do it is to find a great program like Groove.cm which has a totally free account that you can promote so it is really easy to get sign-ups. Once someone signs up for a free account Groove.cm takes care of the remarketing in trying to get people to upgrade. You get paid when someone upgrades to a paid plan. In the past year, we have earned quite a bit this way without running any paid ads whatsoever. You can sign up for your own free Groove.cm account in the description and you will be automatically accepted into their affiliate program. Free members receive 20% commission on upgrades, paid members such as ourselves make 40%. It pays for itself after only 3 sales if you upgrade yourself. And so the thing that I want to say is this isn't about your million dollars, million pounds, or million euro idea. This is about simply learning how to make a sale online. And one of the main reasons, as I've said before, I'm such a fan of affiliate marketing is you can start now, no excuses, no procrastinating, no product costs, no payment processing or refunds to deal with. You can do it now and you don't have to worry about fulfillment or creating anything or even sourcing or anything like that. If you can learn how to make one sale online, you can make 10. If you can make 10 would you agree you can make 100? Well of course you can. And that is really how you're going to build your confidence in selling online. And with my system of selling online within our mentorship program, you're going to learn exactly the process of how to do that while we jumpstart your own website and building your own brand. Amazon Affiliate you can get started as an Amazon affiliate very easy. Just go to Amazon and scroll down to the footer and click on Become an Affiliate. 
Now then, let's say, for example, you want to sell some high ticket items like big screen TVs on Amazon. It is just as easy to sell a big screen TV as it is to sell a $15 water bottle but the commission is a lot better. And what is great about Amazon is that if somebody goes to Amazon through your link and they buy multiple products from Amazon, then you get multiple commissions for making those sales. And Amazon pays typically anything between 3% and up to 10% depending on the type of product. The commission isn't nearly as good as other affiliate programs or Amazon FBA, print on demand or drop shipping but it is really simple and easy to make sales since Amazon is such a trusted source. Again, at this point, it is just about learning how to sell as you progress down the path to a laptop lifestyle. Selling globally it really doesn't matter what country you're in. There will be stores and websites that sell in every single country in every single currency. I would only suggest setting up a store using your native language unless you want to outsource a lot of the work to a native speaker. When you work with us, we talk about this and teach this. I sell products all around the world in all different countries. And that's an advantage again of being an online business. There are no geographical limitations. You can find suppliers around the globe using a directory like Salehoo. The next step in the progression to becoming a full-time digital marketer. Again, let's just say within the next six months, you start consistently getting your sales coming in and you've got some products or services you are selling you'll really start believing that you have the capability to sell online when you become more confident. Say you then say, well, I want to sell my own products and I'd love it if affiliates sold my products for me. So it's not just you being an affiliate. You can get affiliates selling your products. This can easily be done on Groove.cm, Clickbank, or even a site like Amazon. So let's just say, for example, you decide your first product is going to be an e-bike. Okay, that's what you've identified through our training is a good opportunity and something you really enjoy. So let's just do this, you can either sign up to sale who or worldwide brands wholesale directories or just go over to Alibaba and all you would do is simply type in e-bike. This gets multiple choices but what it allows you to see some wholesale prices on some bikes that you can put your own brand on. You can obviously arrange to import the e-bikes if they are produced overseas. Using Alibaba as an example you might find listings that say that you can get 10 to 99 bikes for $1,729. I want to reiterate that going direct to the manufacturers through sale who or worldwide brands is better but it gives you a pricing idea. By going direct to the manufacturer you're going to smash these prices typically even the ones from Alibaba in China, or you can go to the Chinese manufacturer. Typically I see prices from manufacturers that are a third of the price of Alibaba or other wholesale suppliers. AliExpress is even worse. Now if you have an idea on the wholesale price just go over to Amazon, just type in e-bike, and see what they're selling for. Ah, can you see anything that's kind of similar to the ones you found wholesale? You bet you can, and you can see what kind of money people are making if they are being lazy and using Alibaba. Do you think you would have the motivation to then do your second product and make even more money? But the point is, you're just going to have idea after idea for multiple products just as I did. Now as you start to develop this new business and you're doing affiliate sales and you've got your first few products, you've got Amazon selling your products, maybe you've got affiliates. The next step is then to come up with a brand. And I said, you know what now, you are actually ready to create an e-bike brand now, I hope what you're starting to realize is that this is actually different than what most people do. 
Do you see? The majority of people come up with a brand, then a logo, and finally they have to get their business cards, because of course you have to have business cards. To this day, I do not have a business card. I get asked for them and I say, I don't have business cards, you can take my email. Another thing I see is that so many people are backwards, they spend so much time making a business plan. They think I've got to create an in-depth business plan or they spend so much time dreaming about needing investment that they never take action. Yet the reality is you can just get started, you can make that first sale online, that second, that tenth sale, your first product, and all of a sudden that entrepreneurial spirit kicks in, and then you're like now I want to create a brand and then imagine developing that brand to where you can actually sell that brand to maybe a bigger company that's doing acquisitions, which happens all the time and then maybe you make your first million and we see this type of thing time and time again. Out of my first five stores, I sold four of them and closed one. No one is perfect, but I totally bucked the trend where between 80 to 97% of new online businesses fail within the first year. How did I achieve such a high percentage of success? It was all through those mini steps that I learned about how to build successful online businesses. My persistence and my competitive nature of never wanting to fail. So action is the most important thing that you can do. You know, Tony Robbins says it best. You can't go to the window and look out and say no weeds, no weeds. I visualize no weeds in the garden. You have to go out there and pull him up. And the problem is there are so many people that want to be entrepreneurs or want to make their first million and want to create success in their lives. It's all about visualizing vision boards and I'm a fan of all of these types of things. A positive mindset will carry you far in life, but you must work hard and take action. Therefore, I'll be showing you how to make your first online sale using this system. You can be an affiliate for millions of products that are out there. You can give away free software like Groove.cm for free and they will pay you commissions if people go on and upgrade later. You can be an affiliate and sell big screen TVs or e-bikes on Amazon. The system of selling online will show you exactly what you need to do. Maybe you've already got your own products or services. Maybe you do direct sales and you're looking to learn to use modern technology and systems to automate the selling so that you're not trying to pitch to people or working your friends and family. You can have a system of selling online that will change your life. You know, just think about that next step, which maybe is your first sale online, you can do that, it doesn't matter your age, or set your location, your experience, how successful you are right now, maybe you're already very successful, maybe you're a multi-millionaire executive and you're like, I just want to get out of traditional business, I don't want to commute, I don't want to be away from my family, and you're looking for something to start that you can break free from the confines of a traditional business. Perhaps you've never made that much money and now is your time. Maybe the goal isn't to make as much money but to actually be free so you can travel the world and do more of the things that you want to do. Maybe you just want to spend more time with your family. Maybe goal one is just to replace job income. We are not about online courses or selling you digital marketing services that you don't need. That's what a lot of people assume. Let me propose this to you, if information was the only answer everybody would have everything they want in life because the information is there, it is available on the internet, most things are only a Google search away. What you're really looking for is proven systems, support and resources and you know, we've been around and been successful at this, we have support resources in place for you. When you contact us and we talk, if we both decide we are a match we'll work one-on-one -on -one with me. 
No group classes or anything like that. You can brainstorm your ideas with me and then we can help you take the right action to move you forward. Then, why we work together to get your first sale, which is essentially a training phase. We work on getting you ready to build a brand for yourself and really take off. And so I'm going to challenge you to contact us about our e-commerce business mentorship. At a minimum, you'll get some clarity around the space that you want to go into, what the interest or what market do you want to do, and if we move forward help you to sell your first product. If you've got an existing product you want to sell, and let's show you how to make that first sale and then scale beyond, I look forward to talking with you. Not ready to do use me as your mentor and want to learn on your own. 1. Learn by reading e-commerce blogs. Reading blog posts is one of the fastest ways to learn about e-commerce. Shopify blog, a better lemonade stand blog, practical e-commerce blog, digital paper cuts blog. 2. Learn by taking online courses. It's not that I have a specific course to recommend, but rather I haven't found a really good one yet. However, here's a list of the most popular websites that sell courses. Lynda.com, Udemy.com, Skillshare. 3. Learn by listening to e-commerce podcasts. I enjoy listening to podcasts. You can listen to them while driving or working out. While there are many podcasts out there, I recommend you start listening to these three. E-Commerce Fuel Podcast, Build My Store Podcast, Shopify Podcasts, Affiliate Marketing Audiobook.